Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's Big Chris TV here, and today I'm coming back with just another short little video for you guys. The gameplay in the background is just filler. I mainly just wanted to propose a question to you guys. And that main question is, does decision making play a huge effect in surviving in Dead by Daylight? The obvious answer is, of course, yes. But I mean, like when you're chasing, getting chased. Do you as a survivor stay cool, calm, and collected? Or are you pretty thrown off when you're getting chased? Are you easily scared? What goes to your mind? And if so, what mistakes? What are your biggest mistakes when you're in chase? Are you not able to turn your camera fast enough? Do you not know the killer's abilities? Do you not know how to run the loops tight enough to maximize the amount of loops you can get out of a pallet? Yeah, that's a lot of questions but it's mainly all to answer the same one does your decision making affect the outcome of your gameplay or the match do you survive more than you die now i know most people are going to automatically just say yes of course i survive almost all of my games yada 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 but that's really not the case from what the statistics show I'll put a little image up in like the corner or something, but I believe it's like around 40% or 39% of games are survived. And that's not for like the people that play in, uh, you know, survivor friends, four man groups. That's just base solo queue stats. I'm pretty sure that's a combined total of stats throughout all regions though as well, which is pretty interesting considering the fact that there are a lot of strong survivors in this game. I'm not going to sit here and say it's a survivor sided game, but four against one, you know, that's pretty uh, egregious. It's an egregious statement to say that survivors don't have an advantage. But when you have four people that don't know what they're doing, it's definitely not an advantage. And it's a clusterfuck, if you want me to be honest. Because one, it doesn't even need to be a good killer, because all the killer has to do is just cut the distance and they're going to get a hit on you. Killers don't have to work extremely hard especially when all the resources are gone but let's get back to the main point of the video that i was trying to make anyway does decision making have an effect on the alchemy matches i believe that it does which is just the obvious answer but i believe most people are influenced by their decisions when they're scared so if they're playing against per se a spirit and they get surprised hit by her while doing a gen not hearing or listening to the phase coming at them or in the distance it's gonna catch them for a definite surprise i've been caught off guard by spirit plentiful amounts of times and it's always the same reaction but i know how to handle a spirit and most people don't just automatically know how to try to counter this spirit and now that's just one example of many that i could come up with easily but I'm trying to just get the main point across that being scared is going to influence you to make bad decisions. Like you're going to drop a pallet when you don't mean to. You're going to double vault a window when you don't mean to. Yes, sometimes it is human error. But other times when you're panicking and you're nervous, sometimes people don't realize that you're literally playing a horror game. So like people forget that this is a horror game first before it's a survivor with friends have fun all that good stuff you know because i'm a survivor i love having a good time and you know what i'm saying i know a lot of people are probably going to disagree with me on this video and that's okay it's just my opinion at the end of the day and i guess i'm mostly speaking for like newer players or people that don't really know what they're doing because a lot of people that play this game don't really know what the fuck they're doing there's not not everybody's a veteran as much as they like to make it sound like they are because even when you have like a thousand two thousand hours of the game there's still so many other things to learn and figure out how to do even though it's all just running forward you're just learning different abilities at the end of the day and how to chase different you know everybody's different that's all this is the easiest most straightforward game on the planet honestly that's gonna do it for the video though it's just the one point that i wanted to bring up is all decision making is everything and a lot of people just don't know what to do when the time comes or when the decision making comes have a good one guys take it easy